Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness, Synagogue Church and Parish. I'm the servant of God, minister and prophet M. Jumez. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you. We, we thank you for your hava, your love, a non-selfish love that has no motives to it, or religious value that, that is not love, but love that's non-selfish, going forth and doing it because it's right and righteous. And we thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. Amen. All right. Tahilam Hava Yah. Um, love Yah. Love Yah. We got to love Yah. And we got to love one another in a non selfish way. And like it says, if you love God, you love the Spirit of God, you do their commandments. Because the commandments are not burdensome, but holy. And God has called us to His holiness. And if He's called us to His holiness, He's called us to the non selfish love attributes out of His holiness. Amen. And so we're going to go to Psalms 18, 1 through 50. And it says, For the, okay, um, I love you, yeah, my strength. Yah is my rock, my fortress and deliverer, Yasha, deliverer. And my God, and my rock, in whom I find shelter, my shield, my power that saves me, Yahshua. Amen. My stronghold, I call on Yah, who is worthy of praise. And I can, I am saved from my enemies. Yeshua wants to save us from our enemies, hurting our nation, hurting our, our people, hurting our friends, hurting our relatives, hurting our, uh, our intimate families and our own selves. Amen. For I, for the cord of death surrounds me. Doesn't that feel like it? The way that the politicians are doing, you feel like there's a cord of death around all of us. But guess what? We're going to listen to the, the Father that loves us in heaven. The flood of uh, Baalim terrifies me. The rope of Sheol uh, were wrapping around me. Snare of death lay there before me. In my distress, I call on to Yah. Are uh, you calling on to the Father and allowing the will, Yeshua, take over on, on these things that are going on in your life and our friends and our city life and all the way down our states and all of the federal government itself and the governments of the world? Are you allowing them to take command over the situation that's not right all around the world? Amen. In my distress, I called to Yah. I cried out to my God. Out of, of the, his temple, he heard my voice and cried, reached his ears. And the earth quaked and shaked. The foundation of the mountains trembled and they were shaken before he, he was angry. Why was he angry? Because they're, they're hurting they're hurting his kids. They're hurting the kids. They're hurting you, all of you. The politicians on the top, they're wicked, full of Satan. God is irritated at them, and he will do something about it. He will. Uh, smoke array in his nostrils. That, that's pretty serious. Out of his mouth came a, a fire. And sparks plays forth on him, on Yeshua. And he lowered the heavens and came down. You don't want the Father coming down to send his wrath close because I guarantee you the wicked days are done. Melt like wax in the presence of God. With thick darkness under his feet, he roved on the cherubims, and he flew, swooping down on the wings of the of the wing, and he made darkness in his hiding place, his canyon, thick clouds darkened with water, 
and from the brightness before him, there broke through his thick clouds, hailstones and um, fierce coals. Yah also thundered in the heavens, Ha Yah El Yah, the Most High, surrounded his voice, hailstones and fierce coals. That sounds like comets or meteorites or you know all the different classifies of that. And he sent an arrow and scattered them and shot out lightning and roused them and channeled the waters appear. The foundations of the world were exposed at your rebuke, O Yah, at the blast of the breath from your nostrils. He sent forth on high. He took me and pulled me out of the deep waters. He rescued me from the powers of the enemies, from those who hate me, for they were stronger than I. And they came against me on that day of, of distress. But yeah, my what God is my support. He brought me out to open place. He rescued me because he took pleasure in me. Because the Father takes pleasure in his, his creation. He rescues us from those on the top that mean harm. Period. Exclamation mark. For I have kept the ways of Yah. Have you kept the ways of Yah? Well, if you have the will of Yeshua, you're going to keep the ways of Yah. I have not done evil by leaving my God. For all his ruins were before me. Are all God's ruins before you? Through the will of God, you know the will, ruins, the rolls of the road from Genesis and Revelation. Through the Spirit of God, the will of God, Yeshua the Messiah, that El Shaddai in you. Amen. For all his ruins were with me. I did not distress his uh, recreations for me. I was pure hearted with Yeshua HaMashiach, El Shaddai, and kept myself from my sin. He keeps us from ourself of sinning because when we recognize what he's done on the cross. When we recognize what he's done for Israel all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament and, and uh, Zion that came out of Israel, the born again, we recognize that he's the one who makes us pure in heart. So we should not be worried about that. It's an attribute of what the final word of holiness is, is purity, uh, which is uh, set apart purity, and, and gentleness, and keep myself from sin. Hence, Yah repaid me for my uprightness, righteousness, uprightness, amen, a right relationship with God and others, a right, and a right standing with God and others, and a right wisdom of the Spirit of God with, with God himself and others. According to the purity of my hands, and his view, it's always in the view of, of, of the right hand of God. That's Yeshua. So it says in him, God, and then in him, that's, that's the second deep layer of the mystery of who God is, his spirit, which was revealed on the cross of Calvary. And what all the works that he did. And I was pure at heart with Yeshua should I. And kept myself from my sin. Hence, Yah repaid me for my righteousness. We're called righteous because of, of being in God's will. So we know God's ways. Amen. Will is Yeshua, El Shaddai. With the mercy, you have mercy. With, with a man or woman who is secure, you are se se secure with with pure you are pure but with the crooked you are cunning oh god people afflicted you say when you're afflicted by your government when you're afflicted by these 
you know, bad politicians that uh, we can fill in the blank on, pretty much on. Um, not not es- excluding the ones that are right, but most of ninety percent of them are rotten to the core. God Almighty has our back on these things, you know, and. It says, but with the crooked, but with the politicians that are wicked, you are cunning and rebuking them. People afflicted, you save. You sure wants to save you from your affliction, not this salvation and, and, and his will being on you. But also he wants to save you from the afflictions that are caused on you, from the regulations that are nonsense and all these other things. We could go all day, but we won't. But fill in the blank on that, on your own mind on that. But the haughty eyes you will humble. But the haughty eyes of the of the politicians you will humble. The haughty eyes of the the millionaire uh, ministers you will humble. For you, Yah, the light of my lamp. Yah, my God, light up my darkness. With you, I can run through the whole troops of men. With, with with my God, I can leap over walls. As for God, this his ways are perfect. Yeshua El Shaddai's ways are perfect. The word of Yah, that's Yeshua El Shaddai, has been tested by far. He sure has. I mean, look at all the, all the evil that he went through when he was trying to teach things. The Sermon of Mount and all these things. And how he went to the cross for us and that living sacrifice of that lamb, the red perfect heifer, the red Angus for our, our for our deliverance. And he, he was the goat that was sacrificed where the goat was set free. He was the perfect pigeon that took the other pigeon's place, which and that was set in the wilderness, which was us, and he became that pigeon that took the place of us. And the perfect dove sacrifice. So that we can have a sound mind and, and completeness. Amen. All the all those sacrifices, all one, that the Torah talks about all of them. Every last one of them. If you if you want to know and we want to be blessed, all those sacrifices in the Torah it talks about. He was literally on the cross and every last one of them. Every last one of them. And what they mean, that's what he was, all of them. All in one. And you want to be blessed. You want to really know how big and wonderful they were when, when sending the Father sending his unquenched one, the spirit of life, the Messiah in an earth suit to be that living sacrifice, all of them. You, you'd be blessed and read them and understand them in a new light where other people may not know that light, but they will someday. The, the tribes of Israel and the tribes of Ishmael, and the, and the eight tribes of Esau, may they all come to salvation. And where those things are, line up with everybody on the earth pretty much in one of those things, believe it or not. And at the end days, I want to interject that with Ishmael, the tribes of Ishmael, they will be a blessing instead of a curse like they have. They will be a blessing. That means salvation they come to full range of, of the salvation of the goodness of God and the directions of, of what they have left from Abraham and, and being with their brothers, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes of Ishmael. It's, there's a scripture on this, and we need to understand we're in that time of that happening. And it'd be a wonderful thing to see instead of the other way that we've always seen. That will happen. And as for God, his ways are perfect. Yeshua should die, his ways are perfect. For the word of Yah has been tested by fire. Yeah, that's the word of Yah is Yeshua. That's the word of Yah. We're going to break that down a little bit. Bring that fullness of understanding. Yeshua El Shaddai is the shield for all who take refuge in Yeshua Shaddai. For who is God but Yah? And identifies singularly as God as Yah. 
Who is the rock but our God? It's, it's, it's inviting the fact of our God here as God, yeah, and the, the extensions of that, which would be the Spirit of God. Next would be Yeshua, the Spirit of God, the life giver, the Messiah. It is God who grips me with strength. He, he wants to, he's getting a hold of us like a coach does, the Father God, and says, you know what, I'm going to grip you with strength, and you're going to go back out there, you're going to hit the field, and you're going to get a touchdown there, young man, young woman. That's what he's saying, you know, in, in everyday language of today of understanding so we can fully understand and fully bless in this. Amen. As for, uh, as for God, his ways are perfect. The word of Yah, Yeshua, has been tested by fire. Yeshua Shaddai is the shield of all who take refuge in Yeshua Shaddai. For who is God but Yah? Who is the rock but our God? It is God who gears me up in strength. He makes my ways go straight. That means straightforward with no bumps in it. He, he takes care of those things. I mean, trust him. Yeshua Shaddai makes me swift, sure-footed as a deer, and enables me to stand on the high places. Yeshua Shaddai trains my feet for war until my arms can bend bows of bronze. And that's hard to bend, but you know, but with, with God on your side and the Spirit of God working with you, you can. You give me your shield with salvation. With salvation. He gives us a shield with salvation. Your right hand holds me up. That's Yeshua. Should I? Your hum humanity makes me great. It's really, it's, that's, that goes into him coming into humanity. Because it says your humanity makes me great. So the humanity that the Spirit of God took a flesh, that is supposed to strengthen us. According to scripture right here, because it says your humanity makes me great. So the humanity that the spirit of life should die, that came as Yeshua in the flesh, that is supposed to strengthen us when we remind ourselves of those things. Your, your uh, length and step I can take, the length and step we can take even when we're tired, because you know what? God is on our side and the spirit of God is right there with us, Yeshua. Yet, my anchors do not bend. Hallelujah. Pursue my enemies, overtake them without turning back until they are destroyed. Amen. God said, not me. Destroyed. I crush them so that they cannot get up. Amen. God doesn't want us to be wimps and, and defeated from our foes. That should be our righteous leaders and not unrighteous like they are amen for you brace me with strength for the battle you bend down my adversaries beneath me just like it, uh, bend our adversaries beneath us i think of joseph and how he told his brothers that that all everybody including the enemies would bow down before him and that, that kind of reminds me of all of us like we're all little Joseph's and we've been abused by the all the pharaohs of Egypt and all the all the characters that, that you that you read in the word on these things and 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 God is saying the same thing outright where he where Joseph had a vision of it he's speaking it to us like we're all little Joseph being abused Josettes and things. And God Almighty is saying, all the adversaries will bow beneath us at the end. The wicked, the, they're trying to destroy all of us, all humanity, the, the politicians. They're trying to destroy humanity, destroy everything of daily life of our children. They're going to bow down to us someday. Just like with Joseph. 
That will happen for all of us. The Joseph and the Josephettes. Amen out there. All of us. You made my enemies turn their back in the fight. So the bunch of cowards. Amen. I destroy those who hate me. God's given us permission to destroy through the spirit of God doing, not us in the flesh, but the spirit of God in prayer. We destroy the, those that hate us. And that's the politicians. And they cry out, but there are no help for them, even to Yah. But he didn't answer those wicked people. Polarize them like dust in the wind. Throw them out like mud in the streets. You are, are, are been freed, me, from the coral of many people. God has freed us. Freedom. You have made me known that to the head of all the nations. The people are the head of all nations. Not, not the corporations or politicians and all these. They're supposed to be service to the people. Not the opposite way today. You are freeing me from the quarrels of peoples. You have made my head of the nations. We the people. The people I did not know will serve me. The moment they heard of me, they obey me. Foreigners come and cry to me. Foreigners lose heart as they have come to tremble for their of fortresses. Yah is alive. Blessed is my rock. Exalted be God of my salvation. Yah of salvation, Yahshua, the God who revenges me. The so, subdues so people under my feet, the wicked, not other righteous people. They're in the same boat. And he delivers me from my enemies. You lift me high above my enemies. God says he's going to lift you high above these pick squeaks. They're trying to destroy the nations right now. They will be lowered on your feet, just like Joseph. Joseph that we all are, are about ready to have our own little Joseph story. It's little Joseph, little Joseph S. Amen. Praise the Father. Thank you, Father God, for ministering to us today about these things. You lift me high above my enemies. You rescue me from violent men. Violent men, war mongers, false peace uh, people that want war. They want to blow up the good people. They have no mind in their, their little beautiful minds aren't working right or something. Their hearts are broke. They're heartless. They want to war. They want, war kills the innocent. And all the wicked get flee from on both sides. How stupid are you to want war? The war mongling people. God is against people that are that way. Woe unto those that want war. Woe to those that want war. For the war will come back in their own souls. When the angels of God smite them. And, and hit them with a two by four. And see if there's any mind left in them of the heartless praise the father who can dis okay so I okay so I give thanks to you yeah among all the nations we the people among all the nations I sing praises to your name your name Great salvation. You know who the great salvation of that comes through the Father God, the will of God, the El Shaddai is Yeshua. Great salvation he has given to his kings. His kings, not the ones that are, are chosen by the elites and everybody thinks they're voting on it when they're not. It's, it's God that chooses the true leaders. Among the, among the people. And they raised them up eventually as kings. 
They're not selected or voted. God, when he chooses those things, it's God's choice. It's not selected, which is not right, or voted in. It is people that are raised up from a childhood up to be his kings, to, to set the people free from the wicked ones that are better than selected most of the time. He delivers, Yeshua Shaddai delivers grace to his anointed, to his anointed, to Yeshua's anointed. Hello, fellow anointed out there. To David and to his descendants forever. He's put us in with David as his descendants forever because Yeshua brags in Revelation of being the fact of being uh, related in the line to David. And so if we're, we're part of that firstborn blessing, because he was, and, and the, of the salt cover, the firstborn, and then the light, because he's the great light and we can become lights. And so if those things are prominent on that, we're also prominent in the fact that David is like our father in a sense too, on that too, because he was, we become. Amen. And so God bless you. May, may the Father God keep you in all his ways and bless you and, and bring you to life and life abundance of his hava, his love, and shalom of his, of completeness and peace, and kadova of honor and righteousness be with you. As you seek to do good in the land and seek to do good with your fellow human beings, to, to seek to please the Father by having the will of God in you, the will of God showing you the ways of God every day. May, may you get a, a good touchdown. May you win the game of life today. And may, may you have victory and may all the... All the people that are not right, that have authority and on high over your company, may they humble themselves and repent and do what is right for each of the people they work the work underneath them. And I thank you for humbleness on all the elites and may, maybe some of them, and it's a miracle, Father God, and people, if, if they get saved. Because it's, it's hard for a rich man, a rich Roman, to go to the eye of a needle. That means there's a little place that they open so people go through, but they have all their junk they want to go through there. And so they never go through there because they don't want to lose all their stuff. They're not willing to lose everything to gain their life. And before the raiders come in and, you know, because so they leave that little oh heart open it's and you have to crawl through it it's a crawl space you crawl through it then you eventually lock it up you know and there's no way once it's locked there's no way for any of the other ones to come in they're bad they want to harm the city and so that's why it's hard for a rich man to go the eye of of, of the needle that's that's the eye of a needle that's what they call it that little cubby hole space to open up that gate that's very you have to crawl through and there's no room for gear there's no room for anything but your own self own person yeah you know and so that's what yeshua portrayed the fact of how people are they're rich they they won't give it up they won't do what's right they won't save their own life literally as leaders, they won't even save, they don't save anybody else, but they won't save their own because they love their riches. So in America and Canada, we, we put our trust too much in riches and not enough on what is real and reality. And that's a fellow human beings and God's will of doing good in this world. We, we lose heart and we put money before everything which becomes a false god to whether the rich or the poor in America and Canada and a lot of places in the world. We need to stop that. We need to understand life is more important than our riches. It's life of other people and, and, and what God has called us to do with our talents are worth more than even stuff. God Almighty has so much for us. 
So we got to get a hold of God's Abba at love, non-selfish love for one another and for the Father God and let the will of God guide us every day. Get that touch down. You stop saying you can't get one. You stop saying it. You, you get one and, and be happy. When you have doubt in your mind that keeps you from going forth and doing it. You got to say, I don't have time for doubt. I only have time to go forth and become that champion that God has called me to be today and every day. And that's what you do. There might be a Goliath on the other team, but it doesn't mean nothing because David slain Goliath. So, and he's no specter of person, so he can do it with, with people that, that are not as tall or height or whatever. Talent doesn't matter because when God is with you, who can be against you? You can win and you can win big. We got to stop fearing and you got to start believing. You got to start not dividing one another. You got to start coming together with the uniqueness of each of you have and say, this is wonderful. This is awesome. Because when they divide us, they win. But when we unite together with all the different kinds of personalities we have, all the different uh, salts of life we have, and we unite together, we learn to get along. The people that are trying to defeat us today, unfortunately, are most of them are politicians. They def get defeated and the people win every time. So, Father, I pray for the people to be brave. And when they don't have bravery, give them bravery. When they don't have enough faith, give them faith. When they don't have enough love, give them the love. When they don't have enough to feed their families, give them all that they need. When, when, when a mother goes to the store, angels let the coupons fly from heaven right down to her cart if they have to. Let may the person with the ticket machine go over there and lower the price as she's going over there to get for her family. May miracles happen. For, for those that need the mercy the most, to those that least, we all get mercy from you and miracles from you today, Father. May every day be a, a day of thanking you for what you're going to do for each of us. We thank you and praise you. Amen. Now, I want to pray for those that want to be born again and also spirit-filled with Yeshua, or El Shaddai, as well. Born again with what he did, but also spirit filled with him afresh. Amen. Just pray this prayer. Dear God, the Father, thank you for sending El Shaddai, which is Yeshua, to, to us. To live a perfect life, to fulfill what Abraham started, to do what Adam and Eve could not do, and bring us away from the tree of knowledge of good and evil to the tree of life, symbolically of Yeshua's nature. Thank you, Yeshua. Uh, we, we acknowledge that you're El Shaddai in the Old Testament. We acknowledge you, Yeshua, in the New Testament, and that's the identification of who you really are. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for everything you've done for us from day one to now. Thank you, and I pray that, that you, you spirit filled each person now. And that, that your will be done in their life so they know the will, the will, you, you show them, will show them the ways of God. And they will, they can complete that beautiful circle of life every day. And blessings. Thank you, Spirit of Yeshua, for filling them full now. Amen. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Honest, wholeness that brings you peace. Passes all understanding be with you. God bless. Do not be downtrodden. It's very easy. Satan loves to get people all sad, to get all everybody divided, division, all that garbage. Don't don't fall for that trap anymore. You look at your fellow man, fellow woman, and the children. All is beautiful, wonderfully created. Each person has 
beautiful abilities. And each of us can learn great things from one another and become great people and tell, to tell the people on the top, you know what, the goal. Fill in the blank on that one. Very easy. God bless you. I love you. Yeshua loves you. And the Father really loves you. And he has long suffering for you. Amen. God bless. Shalom.